There is a plethora of new games that have come out since the release of Left 4 Dead 2 in 2009. And these games have introduced many mechanics that Valve could incorporate to enhance the Left 4 Dead experience. Whether it comes to unlockables, new characters, leveling up, or customization, we love to see innovative ways to brighten up this darkening series. While I have spent countless hours playing the campaigns with my friends, I always feel a little disappointed that the game has nothing to show for me after I have amassed every achievement there is to offer. Of course, the PC crowd has access to mods, so don't bring those up, I already know about them, I played them, and they can change the game from the inside out. And our Xbox playing friends are left wanting just a little more. So here's another top 10. This is the top 10 things we want in Left 4 Dead 3. Number 10, Cosmetic Unlockables. Now this was a toss up between a sprinting mechanic and gaining cosmetic unlockables for the survivors and possibly special infected. But I figured sprinting could really change the game's dynamic and flow in a negative way. So I thought, since Team Fortress did it, why not give Left 4 Dead a chance to have their characters sport some different accessories instead of just a gas can on the back like in Hard Rain. The gaming community seems to respond well to cosmetic unlockables, like maybe we could have a pimp hat on Coach, or bikini wear for Zoe, because you know you have that fetish or whatever, or whatever your fantasy might may be. People like giving the characters they play different looks to liven up their gaming experience. And it seems to work for games like Halo, Call of Duty, Overwatch, and like I said before, they had the hats for Team Fortress 2. So let's give Left 4 Dead that leader. different experience. I found a chest. <gasps> Accessories? <laughs> Glimmer! Oh, oh goody! Oh, oh, goody, oh. goody, goody, goody! Number 9, a mid-chapter full statistics screen. At the end of a chapter, we are all transitioned by a statistics window that shows how well each player did when it comes to damage dealt as a specific special infected or number of zombies slain by a melee weapon. But sometimes, we want to see more than just five stats at one time each before they're never seen again. People are inclined to review how well or piss poor they performed in their game, and other FPS series tend to keep this as a basic niche in their post-game screens. Maybe during loading screens we can have up to 10 statistics to review from, and maybe at the end of the campaign we'll have a drop-down menu to look at. We can have all these statistics available in the post-game lobby, it's that simple. I'd love to see how much damage I dealt as a spitter against the noobs on all five chapters, wouldn't you? Number 8, a penalty system for quitting, team killing, and or suicide. Now I brought this up as the number one spot for my top 10 things that need to be fixed for Left 4 Dead 3, but I felt it needed to be brought up again. This is a huge drawback for people when playing online. Left 4 Dead probably experiences the most rage quitting, team killing, and suicide in any game series I have ever played. And I've played Call of Duty and Halo, mind you. Halo has a strict policy of banning people for quitting and team killing. Now invoking this policy could encourage people to attempt a full game, or it could totally backfire and cause them to just leave the game entirely. But I doubt that with a fun game like Left 4 Dead. Now a 10 minute ban could cause them to leave outright, or it might cause them to straighten up and fly right. Establishing a system where a sudden jump from a sto four story building, now that's not a mistake and maybe getting shot by a player 10 times by an auto shotgun, that's not a mistake either. And I bet the system could recognize that, ban the player, and give them about 10 minutes and they might see the light. Number seven, a ranking system. One thing that encourages players to keep coming back and playing a game is progress. Call of Duty has a prestiging level up system and the players love it. Same with Halo and many other online multiplayers. Leveling up by causing damage, killing infected, and winning chapters and campaigns with a reward. And you could have cosmetic items per level up, and that might encourage a wider fan base to emerge. Like I also said earlier, cosmetics aren't a necessity, but a nice little bonus. And a leveling up system for players gives them a sense of accomplishment in a game they have invested hours or even days of their life into, like myself. And plus, it could also lead the way into a ranked match searching system for lobbies, so new players won't be matched up with professional players of four, so they won't be decimated and probably leave the game forever. Number 6. New Mutations and Mutation Creator 
Mutations were an extremely creative way of giving the fans a different experience every week until all of them were made available at the end of Left 4 Dead 2's. My personal favorite mutation was Tank, and having all these game tasks available is great. I would love to see them make a return in Left 4 Dead 3 and maybe have some new additions in the next installment. I also would like to see is a custom mutation creation system. Adjusting the percentage rates, commons can spawn wherever you want them to, how much damage and effect it can do, what guns can be available, and maybe even anti-gravity to where you could float wherever you wanted. It would be hysterical! And maybe Valve can take a note from 343 Industries and implement custom mutations from their community as their weekly new mutations. Now that would be pretty darn cool. Number 5. Cameos of the Seven Survivors or a Continuation Remember how psyched you were when the passing was announced and the thought of the original survivors meeting the new ones was just too awesome to fathom? Well, maybe we can bring the four to seven survivors back in some way to see how they're doing up to this point. Now you might be asking why I said seven survivors instead of the even eight. Well, if you read the canon comics released the weeks before the release of the Sacrifice DLC, or if you played the passing DLC, which I'll leave a link in the description for the comics to this video. And you would see that, spoiler alert, Bill went out like a badass as he was mauled to death by three tanks at once, puffing on a cigarette. Hopefully, if Valve decides to bring back veteran survivors, and if Zoe, Lewis, and Francis made it to Paradise Island, I just hope Coach doesn't sacrifice himself. And if they do end up sacrificing somebody, make it Rochelle and throw her under the proverbial bus. Scares. Now what oh if they don't get God. into the canon side you of the story? Well, let's too? smack those survivors sure. in a customizable really 8v8 it, yeah, versus I mode. Things. I hate those stairs. I know! I hate that bridge. It's so stupid! I hate your vest. What now? Number 4, 8v8 versus. When the passing DLC was announced, I fully thought that Valve was going to do an 8v8 versus mode with the original and new survivors to take on 8 special infected in a versus campaign. The sheer chaos this would cause would be hysterical and entertaining. Much like how Nintendo brought 8 player Smash to Smash Bros. 4, it's not mostly about the game, it's about causing a chaotic environment for twice as many people to wreak havoc in. Now you may think 8 survivors armed with fully automatic weaponry would be too difficult to bring down, but this would force infected players to cooperate even more and to have two boomers distract a large number while incapacitators like the jockey and charger separate the group, the number would dwindle and all hell would break loose. And at the point, you might have to call the game Left 8 Dead. Number 3. Cinematics to expand the universe and more. One thing we were teased with at having in Left 4 Dead 2 was cinematic scenes to bridge the gaps between each campaign to give a bit more depth beyond the go from point A to point B formula. Well, that idea was scrapped and I think it's high time that whichever survivors make it to the next installment really get to be shown what happens to them beyond a short exchange of a dialogue at the beginning of the campaign, like how the pilot was shot. Nick, what the hell? You shot the pilot! Well, he wasn't doing a very good job once he became a zombie, now was he? True, true, he was a zombie, but he was also our only pilot. I shot a zombie. He was a zombie, Ellis. He must have gotten bitten before he picked us up. Important safety tip. Don't get in a helicopter with a zombie pilot. On the bright side, look at all the great scenery we would have missed if we flew over this in a helicopter, huh? Maybe have a video menu in the options screen or campaign screen to have optional for people to view whenever they wish. Valve really knows how to put cinematics together, and the opening films to both games are fantastic and a perfect showcase of what each game brings to the table in terms of characters, infected, and gameplay. Although I much prefer Left 4 Dead 1's opening cinematic for its pure sense of terror, continuity, and horror that it brought to us that really invited people to play in this dead world. Number 2. Accessible Map Creation Customization for Console and PC Now one thing I loved about the PC community for Left 4 Dead was the map making portion. Many fan made campaigns were sometimes better than those made by Valve. Campaigns like Detour Ahead, Suicide Blitz, and Dead Before Dawn brought a lot of players into the custom playing part of the Steam Left 4 Dead 2 mods. I attempted to make my own map through the Map Creation Toolkit, but you really have to invest your time into actually learning how to put the algorithms together to make your own levels. And now, we could get a watered-down way for PC, Xbox, and PS4 players, like putting in buildings that are pre-rendered in a few preset environments and creating spawn points for commons, items, and more, much like Doom's new Snap Map feature or Halo's classic Forge mode. 
And like the mutation idea, any popular maps can get the Coldstream treatment and be officially released by Valve. Number 1. New Special Infected and Changes to the Old Ones Here's the top of the crop. You've seen countless videos of new special infected ideas all over YouTube and forums. While we have six to normally play from, and the tank to reign supreme as a single Alpha Zambo, we could also have the tank sit on the sideline for once and have a new tyrant to take over. Now I'm not going to throw my own ideas of a tank substitute out there, but the internet does have a wide variety of ideas for you to search through. And let's not forget the only NPC special infected, the witch. Remember how terrifying she was the first time we saw her in the Left 4 Dead 1 trailer? You made sure not to piss her off lest ye be downed or even killed. These days, the second you hear her crying, everyone asks, where is she? As they whip out their boomsticks, also known as shotguns, and proceed to crown her. The fear for the witch has died, and we need to revamp her. Let's get rid of the crown and make her the queen of the zombies once more. As for the established special infected, I feel like they could use some work, but you know what? That's another topic for another day. So I'll dedicate the next episode to a top five of how we can change the current special infected. I'll be doing that soon. Hopefully Valve takes some of these ideas into consideration for a better experience for us all and really bring the console players up to par with the PC community to end the console debate. And maybe Sony's PlayStation 4 can get a release for the game and possibly do a cross-platform incorporation that Rocket League has broken new grounds with. So what did you think? Did you see what you wanted in the next installment of Left 4 Dead? Is there something I skipped out on or completely forgot? Maybe you have a suggestion. Or do I deserve to have a spitter acid bath or a jockey crotch rocket? Now you try to say that three times fast. Jockey crotch rocket, jockey crotch rocket, jockey crotch rocket. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'll give you a shout out for your great feedback and ideas. Want that top five changes we want in the current Special Infected? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. Do you like my fail compilation and glitch corner series? Let me know. And until next time, stay wow, everybody.